What's up, my beautiful dreams, and welcome back for another video. Okay, it's haul time. It's haul time. Okay, so I'm gonna bring you guys a my most recent haul. I um, actually spent some time in the um, drugstore, and I have to tell you, I love my girls' drugstore because when they see me coming, they li literally like drop what they're doing to help me. And I mean, because I spent a lot of time in there, so. I spent some time in a drugstore and wanted to pick up some things that is all the rave here on YouTube and some of the things I really just wanted to get my hand on. However, you know I went to Mac a little bit, not a lot of bit, just a little bit. Okay, so let's start at the drugstore and this is no in no particular order, but of course, we want to talk about the Maybelline's limited edition lip glosses that has just been the rave here on YouTube. And I have to say, usually when it comes to rave stuff, I'm like always, you know, you know, some people like it, some people don't, but I have to say, these deserve the rave. They are gorgeous. So I just want to show, I picked up uh, six of the lip glosses, and I picked up three, no, I picked up one more of the Vivids. I already had three in my collection, and I just picked up one more. So really quickly, I picked up Shocking Peach, and there's a review on these coming very soon. Um, the next one would be Mirrored Plum, which is a fave. Um, as well as Shocking Peach is definitely a favorite of mine. Um, the next one is Captivating Coral. She's beautiful. Really, really like her. You know I like her. Um, the next one is Fiercely Fuchsia. The next one is Riveting Rose. And the last one for the ones that I actually picked up is Electric Shock. So these are the ones that I picked up. Definitely want to look out for my review, which is coming very soon. Um, I've already recorded it. So, God damn it. They keep you definitely want to look out for this collection. Very pretty. Um, like I said, I already had three of these, which I believe I showed before, but really quickly. I have the Vibrant Mandarin. I have the brazenberry which everyone is in love with and I am too because it's absolutely freaking gorgeous um I have the shocking coral just okay and I have hot plum so definitely look out for that review on that product line but also in that they came out with blushes and eyeshadows and all that stuff and nail polishes and the nail polish was actually kind of cute but I'm not spending that much for a nail polish but I did pick up one of their blushes, and this blush is in Coral Burst, and it's gorgeous. Yes, I do have it on today. Very pretty. Like her a lot out of all the blushes. The rest of them I didn't really care for. This one was just like, hi, she wanted to, how are you? It was like, good. It was like, you're going to get me? I said, you sure enough will. Sure enough. Okay. So I picked up two more of my... Um, facial wipes and you might say Shonda why don't you get both because I really do like both I think they both do different things so I really like them I like this one for taking my makeup off and this is the Aveeno ultra calming makeup removing wipes I like these for taking off my makeup because I feel like it, it doesn't burn my eyes at all and it takes off my makeup really well but then this one actually cleans my face and this is the radiance cleansing wipes and I love these together to take it off because it gets it off really good and then it's supposed to actually clean my face especially for me because guys I am beyond lazy as heck when it comes to just piece of my hair is getting on my nerves um I am beyond lazy when it comes to at night if I'm sleepy I am sleepy and I am taking it down right now so these two together are like great Love those. So I picked those up again. Also for my face, I picked up, I already, you already seen this one. Yes, you've already seen this one. It's a mask that I do use every other day or like a few times a week. I really, really like this, but I had to restock on this one. And I decided to pick up this and I've never used it before and I am hooked. Oh my God, please look for a review on this one. I'm gonna actually show you a demo on this one. If you really wanna see a demo of me using this one, Definitely, I'll uh, leave a comment below. Let me know or like th like this video so that I'll know. This is the um, Freeman Feeling Beautiful Facial Peel Off Mask Cucumber. 
guys this clarifies and renews skin and I literally it feels like when you put this on you have this such this cleansing sensation like like this like air that's constantly be blown on your face that's the best way for me to describe it this is amazing like when you peel it off you can just see like stuff coming off love this love this uh what else so i finally got my hands on the cover girl queen collection um i will be redoing a review really quick uh really soon on these I got the color Q850 and Q855 because for my skin, I have yellow and I have red, which means that the orange would be like perfect, but it can't be like a harsh orange. It has to be like a nice coral like orange. So it's really hard for me to find in my makeup world. So I picked up both and a review will be coming very soon for these. The bad part about it, I had to go to my local supermarket to buy chicken to find these damn things. Ugh. Like from now on, I'm not even gonna waste my time going to CVS or Walgreens or anything. I'm just gonna go to the supermarket because they actually have a really good cosmetics um, department. So I picked those up as well. What else? So I finally got my hand on the Scandal Eyes by Rimmel. I picked up the color Nude for my waterline and this is great for women of color because you don't want necessarily the white all the time. You want something a little softer. And this is more of, this is definitely more of a nude. It has like a um, eggshell, maybe a little darker than eggshell look to it. So pick that up. It's also nice and creamy. But my favorite one is the one in taupe. I like taupe. And the reason why I like taupe because to me it, it's like probably more natural looking than the nude. The nude is, it's not white. So it doesn't give you the white one, but it's more comparable like this one the the nude you may say well Shonda is almost like the color of your eye and that's the truth but that taupe it really like really wakes my eyes up I really like the taupe one better to be honest with you I will have a demo review coming up of these really soon but I did pick those up what else? I decided to pick up something that will definitely be in my monthly favorites this year. Because, I mean, this month. Because I have been in love with it since I put got my hands on it. And I picked up another Queen, um, CoverGirl Queen bronzer. But this one is in Q110. Now, the one that I also do have on to contour with, that one is in Q120. And this is like a YouTube fave for any woman of color. If you don't have it, get your hands on it right now. I don't understand what you've been doing with your life. So, love that to contour and to add some warmth back into your face. But this one right her, I love her for my eyelids. I have her all over my eyelids. And what I love about her is that she's definitely skin tone, but she has the reflex of gold in there. I don't know if, you could, if that's going to pick up. It definitely has like gold shimmer oh my god it's beautiful all over the lid i mean she this is pretty much what my eyes are going to look like for the spring and summer season like seriously because it just love her love her love love okay what else i picked up some um I picked up the Gagne Skin Renewal Anti-Dark Circle Roller. Um, this comes in, I believe, dark, but I can't find the dark, so I did buy the medium dark. I have to say, I like it. I like it, and I will show you the application of this in an upcoming review, so I don't want to review it too much, but I like it. It looks weird, but the way I apply it, I like it because it eliminates the need for more concealer even though it's a concealer this yeah i have to say i like this a lot i am looking for the dark one though i can't find the dark one this is medium dark it's a little bit too light for me i would like to find the dark one and really see how that works so that's how that one goes i picked up some mascaros because that's what i do because i spend money on mascaros because i love mascaros and so I picked up another refill for the Colossal because mine had uh, dried out because I had it for so long. However, I have to say, 
it's not one of my favorites anymore. Review coming up. Um, I picked up the Colosso Volume Express and these were the cat eye ones. The Hydrofuge. Yeah, not a fan. Not a fan at all. This is supposed to be the one for the cat eye and it has this, um, that arch and the, um, and the wand. Let me get close so you can see the bristles. Not a huge fan. Not at all. It didn't, it didn't do really anything. It's supposed to be cat eyes inspired. Where is that? Supposed to be your cat eyes inspired or whatever, but maybe on the lower lash, but definitely if not from the top lash, didn't love it. Now, one that I have been loving is the new one by Maybelline, and that is called the Maybelline The Rocket Volume Express. Guys, she's the bomb. And I'm not going to open up to show you because then you ain't going to need to watch the review video when it comes up. I'm telling you guys. For voluming, not necessarily lengthening because you guys know my favorite for lengthening is my uh, L'Oreal Telescopic Shocking Extensions Mascara. For lengthening, is this is bomb. But for volume? Yes. Are you singing a song already? Perfect combination. Yes, yes. Yes. Okay. I had to sing it. I felt it. Like, you know you feel it burning. Just got to get it out. So I picked those up as well. Um, is that all I got from? Yeah. Yeah, I think that's it. Like, you know what I'm saying? That, like, that's not a lot, right? Yeah, but I think that's everything I picked up from um the drug stores now let's go to mac well let's before we go to mac let's go to be at um, bh cosmetics i did purchase these uh little palettes that bh cosmetics came up with which were inspired by different destinations this one is mali um this one is hollywood and this one is san francisco i'm gonna open it up real quick there is a review coming up real quick uh real soon about these so I'm not going to say too much. I'm just going to open them up so you guys can see them. So they come with uh, blushes in the middle and then the eyeshadows on the ends. The eyeshadows are really small, very similar to like maybe like a Coastal Scents or something. The eyeshadows are really small. Or BH Cosmetics, some of their other palettes. The eyeshadows are pretty much about the same sizes. But this is what this one looks like. Very pretty colors. Um, and that one was the Mali one. This one is San Francisco, and then, you know, it has the cover, and then you, um, take the actual palette out, and it's the same exact thing. And this is what this one looks like. And they have to say, the colors are very appropriate for its destination. San Francisco is very kind of, like, laid back, and, like, you know, just nice and neutrals and pretty. So, the colors are very appropriate for the destinations and the last one is um hollywood and like i said you'll see as soon as i open it you'll see how it's very appropriate for the location the vibrant colors you know little um kind of bolder uh blushes you know that one would definitely be a, a highlight but i've decided the colors are very pretty so definitely look out for a review on these because I have some things to say about them. Okay, so last but not least, let's finally get over to MAC. I did pick up a few things from MAC, of course, that's what I do. The first thing I picked up was this Prep and Prime Eye Fine Line Filler. I have to say, I really like this. Now you guys know that I have fine lines underneath my eyes and I have the worst smile lines because I'm always smiling. So I'm always getting these fine, these, these smile lines. This doesn't erase them, but it definitely makes a dramatic difference, like 90% difference for me. I've definitely seen a difference. Before I used to always do this, constantly be doing this. Um, so I did pick her up and um, really like her a lot. Review coming up if you want it, because I did do a demo on it. Did I? Yes, I did. So let me know if you want to see that. Um, the other things, I picked up two concealers, just to be picking them up, you know, whatever. 
So I picked up the uh, MAC Pro Longwear Concealers. I'm not quite sure how I'm going to use these yet, but I did pick them up. You guys know how I feel about concealers. I'm always buying concealers. So I picked up NC45 and I picked up NW45 and I figure like together, you guys know how, you know, I'm, I'm cool, I'm warm, I'm a little bit of everything, I'm a hot mess. So I picked up both of them and um, we'll see. We'll see. Thus far, there is a review coming up on this as well. But thus far, I, but yeah, we'll see. Um, I picked up one eyeshadow because I didn't have it. And I picked up Sable, which is a matte, um, matte finish. And it's skin tone, obviously. And um, this is perfect for my transitioning color. You can barely see it. It's right there. It's a really pretty just transitional color for my eyeshadow looks nice and warm but it's pretty much skin tone color for me so i picked that up because i didn't have it now last and final i think um these are some lips that i purchased um please forgive me i don't i don't i believe these are all new but i'm not sure about one i think i could have showed you this one before but if i didn't just yeah first one was vegas vault which, why do I feel like I did show you this? Yes, I did show you this one. Wait, that's not that. Because I did show you Vegas Vault because I had it on. Yeah. Did I show you that? Yeah, I think. Yeah, anyway. It was Vegas Vault. Um, the, this one is St. Germain. And I only picked this up because of Time the inf Infamous. She swears by it. So I wanted to see what it would look like on a dark skin person. And it's very Barbie doll you know look it actually reminds me of uh is it viva glam yeah Let's see. it reminds me of her but it's not i'm talking about the finish as you guys can see people saying that they're you know they are just alike they're definitely not alike they both are amplified so this it has that gloss but as you can see, this one is more pasty, almost white, but it's not white. And it definitely does have more of that lilac pink look to it. So they are different. But um, that's why I picked her up, because they're different. So I want, wanted her in my collection. I also picked up Blanket. And I think, I'm not sure if I showed you this, but this is just a nice um, pasty nude one that I do have on today. It's a pasty nude, and I really like her. She's very pretty. Just a pasty nude. It has like some coral pink undertones to it. If, I, if I've shown this before, I, I apologize. But I don't remember showing this one before. So, yeah. And the last one, which is one of my favorites. I've had these now for a few weeks. So, it's not new to... Well, none of, the, none of this stuff is kind of new to anyone that does follow me on Instagram. Which you should be following me on Instagram. Um, but this next one is one of my favorites. I've completely fallen in love with it i cannot wait to the fall season to rock the crap why is that up like that to rock the absolute crap out of this lipstick and it's called chili and it's a matte lipstick i know it looks red guys i know but it's like so not red it's like a deep orange burnt orange coppery color it is oh it's like fall. It's like the color of a leaf when it changes colors. I cannot wait to the fall season to wear it. This is so the bomb. It is beautiful. It really has. It's like it's of course aren't I mean red is in there, but it's definitely gives you more of the burnt orange, coppery, my yeah, penny, like a penny, yeah, like rust color I oh I'm in love with her love her oh love so that is it that is the end of my most recent haul thank you guys so much for watching of course you guys know what to do if you have any questions or comments definitely leave them below thank you so much for watching as always guys if you haven't done so already please rate comment and subscribe Definitely want to follow me on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram for, to keep up with my life because I'm always putting stuff on those things. I love you so much for watching, and I will see you guys in the very next video. Blessings, guys.